name's Tina Dilly, and I'm here to paint a super size Easter egg today. And you can see the egg in the background. It's a four foot fiberglass egg that I'm going to be painting on today. This is located in Lancaster. This is a community project that the uh, City of Lancaster and the Museum of Art and History in Lancaster has a partnership to put this together. The artists are asked to paint these eggs outside and it's a nice community project where people can see art without having to go to a gallery or a museum. I'm going to paint a raven on it. We'll see how that comes out. Hopefully I'll finish it tomorrow early and start the next one, we'll see. But let's do it. Hi, how you doing? So it's nice about this place, it's got a great walking path for everybody. Okay, it's about 4.30 and I'm quitting. It's super hot here and I have no shade and it's reflecting pretty bad on the piece right now. I think tomorrow I might be able to finish it up. I've got to tweak it. It's getting there, but it's not where I want it to be. Call it a day, I am beat. And I think melted a little bit today. I think it was about 85, but we're in the desert. And you know, look what I'm wearing, black of all things. So, but this place is gorgeous. It is just gorgeous. My wonderful husband came by and he's gonna help me pack up because I don't think I have the energy. Got a huge mess. You can see everything. I mean, I just can't bring one or two cans of paint or one or two bottles of paint. I have to have tons and tons and tons of everything. So I need a dolly. <laughs> Well, <laughs> there's my dolly, my sweet husband. All right, see you tomorrow, bye. Anyway, I'm back at uh, Prime Desert Woodland Preserve, day two of painting the egg. It's a little cooler right now, it's in the morning. It's about eight o'clock, 8.30. And I'm gonna see if I can pop this thing out, finish it. Um, yesterday was brutal, it really was brutal. I wore all the wrong clothes. I was wearing black, I'm wearing white and shorts, and hopefully I can stay a little cooler today, and hopefully I can get get this done in a couple of hours, but not happy with it, to be honest with you. Um, although I, with my artwork, a lot of times I'm, you know, I, I hate the work, hate the work, and then I love it. So I hope I get to the point where I actually like the piece. And it's just a process, I'm used to it, that's how I work. So I'm gonna try to work on smoothing out the details. I'm not sure what I want, if I wanna keep the background. That's what I was working from. This is a print off of an original piece, which is now in uh, uh, the permanent collection in Bakersfield Museum. This is some of the other reference. It's peanut right there. But because of the egg shape, the feet are lost. I let everything drip down don't like the beak, I don't like the head. I'm gonna work on the eyes. The only part I do like is this little part right here. Kinda of has like a, it comes out a little bit. But it was hard yesterday, it was really tough painting this. It got so hot, but this is the part about painting outdoors. You have to deal with all this, with the elements, and it's not always easy. I mean, in my studio it would be completely different, but you know, then you can't do public art in a studio. And artists do this all the time, and they're out and, they're out on ladders and the heat and uh, they produce amazing work. So I just have to suck it up and uh, try to get this thing a little bit more fine tuned. She's a curator.
curator. She's the one that's coordinating this with, I guess, the City of Lancaster? The City of Lancaster. Um, you know, every year we've had our, we're known for the traditional egg hunt that happens at Owen Memorial Park. And because of the pandemic and us, you know, all being a little bit safer, um, a really creative project this year is uh, having our Antelope Valley artist uh, decorate these four foot eggs and the egg hunt will actually be all around the whole city. So we are encouraging everyone to come out, check out the eggs, post pictures of themselves with the eggs. Um, there's also an email that you can send your photos to and in the contest, um, you may win prizes. Uh, so family portraits, um, couple portraits, funniest picture, um, and most creative picture, and uh, those will have um, some some uh, awards at the end of the, at the end of the month for April. Yeah, and, and it's a four foot egg made out of fiberglass, right? Yes. And we're doing ten of them. We There's have ten. ten of them, right? Okay. So, and all uh, I believe all the artists that we've asked, including yourself, are all powwow artists. So oh. it's really exciting um, to have those muralists be working on these uh, these eggs and then the eggs will go out into the community next year again. So we'll be able to keep them as public art okay. and they'll be part of another egg hunt next year. So these will stay here for a year and then they'll be moved? Or these they'll... will be here for the month of April okay. uh, for the hunt and then we'll store them uh, then for them the, out. Right, right, we'll put them out next year again. Because yeah. some of them are more Easter themed so Correct. it doesn't quite yeah. look good all right, year. Right, right, okay, right. Okay. Yeah. Okay, how fun. Well, thank yeah, you. Yeah, well, thank you, Tina. Thank like, you. we love having you here, and we love the fact that we have access to, like, another really fantastic artist here in the Antelope Valley, and, um, and uh, thank you. So I'm quitting about one o'clock. I've worked on it, worked on it, and it's, 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 the heat's coming in and it's gonna be hard to paint on it. The paint dries really quick and um, I don't think I can do any more to it. It's too hot. I could probably come back tomorrow. The second one that I'm painting won't be done and won't be ready until after Easter, which is good. Gives me a chance to kind of recoup. But let me uh, take a real quick look at it. Hold on. So this is it, the detail. It's better than what it was. Honestly, nature does a better job than sometimes us artists. Look at that, that's mostly cast shadow. Raven, I'm gonna call him Raven Hood. Okay, I'm back. I thought I was done yesterday, but thought about it last night and I definitely need to put a background on this. They're going to move this egg after a month, after the month of April, and so it's going to go into storage and then next year they're going to probably put it in a different location. So the beautiful cast shadows that I have on the egg right now might not happen where it go, when it goes into a new location. So I'm going to tweak it some more because that's what I love doing is keep tweaking it and I have to be done today. Andy is going to come by and take pictures of the finished egg, so I have to have it done today. So let's see what happens, and uh, I have my wonderful husband 
going to help me, or at least keep me company, keep the squirrels out of my food. I'll start on it. Take. It's going to be done. I can paint on it for another week or two and it might look a little bit different. So we're gonna call it done. I just want it to pop. It's a little bit different. It's not your traditional Easter egg look, but I think you need to make them fun. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm.